We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. God is good all the time and all the time God is good. It's Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here and I'm so happy to be with you today. It is a brand new day that God has given us. It is another day to live to the fullest. It is another day to press on and walk in the fullness of what God has for you. God is good and he will never leave you. No matter what situation you might face, understand and know God is with you and that is what matters. If God be for us, who can be against us? The grace of God is sufficient. Even in our weakest times, his power is made perfect. And when we are weak, we are strong. But dear friend, today we're going to be praying special prayers from the book of Psalms, chapter number 23. And I trust, I know, I believe God is going to bless you. This is an all-round prayer, and we are going to follow the points in Psalm 23. And I'll lead you in the special prayer. I trust, I know, I believe God will bless you. Something is going to happen. Be expectant. Now let us begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit. Wherever you are, just welcome the Holy Spirit in your own words. Precious Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you right here in studio as I record these special prayers from Psalm 23. And I welcome you in that place where my dear friend is watching. Come in that place, take over control and bless my dear friend mightily. Amen. Now, we're going to begin by praising and thanking God, and as we discern His presence, then we'll begin to pray, and I trust, know, and believe something is going to happen. Be expectant, believe God for a miracle, and receive in the name of Jesus. In saying that, let us begin. Father, we praise You and we thank You. Thank You for another day that You've given us, a wonderful day, a day that we can press on and we can receive from You. Thank You for Your Word that guides us. It gives us direction in which way we must go, how we must live, what we should do, how we should deal with things. And it also gives us direction in how we should pray. Thank you for the Psalms. And thank you for Psalm 23. That is wise guidance in ways we can pray. We give you praise and we thank you for your goodness and your mercy towards our lives that never runs out and never fades. And your grace is sufficient for us in all seasons. And we know we shall make it through by your grace and by your mercy. We know we shall go up and not come down. We know we shall succeed. No matter what the devil does, he won't be able to hold us back because you are with us, you are fighting for us, you are making a way for us. We give you praise even today. And we thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your mercy. As we pray today from Psalm 23, hear our prayer, O Lord, and answer with miracles, signs, and wonders. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, my dear friend, we're going to begin. As we begin, I want to encourage you comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement. And even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. But in saying that, let us begin. Now, I'm going to read a verse, and then I'll lead you in a prayer, and you can follow along. Verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Now, let us pray together. Say, Father, be my shepherd. Lead me. Guide me. And show me the way. Remove all want from the equation. Remove all lack. Let me lack nothing. Supply all my needs. I ask this in Jesus' name. Verse 2. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. Let's pray together. Father, Make me lie down in green pastures. Lead me to places of abundance. Lead me to places of peace. Lead me and guide me on my path so that I may have all that I need plus more. And give me peace 
Bless me with the blessing that makes rich and adds no sorrow. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Verse 3. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Father, restore my soul. Restore me. Lead me in paths of righteousness. Lead me in the right way. By the power of your Holy Spirit, help me to put to death the misdeeds of the body. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Verse 4. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Father, even in the hardest times of my life, let your presence, let your wise guidance, let your wisdom, let your rod and your staff be with me and comfort me. Protect me from all evil, protect me from all attacks of the evil one and be with me. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Verse 5. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Father, supply all my needs, and let all those people who are wishing for my downfall watch and see as you bless me. And no matter what they try to do to pull me down, let them watch me go up because I've chosen to trust in you. Anoint me afresh day by day. Anoint me afresh this day. And let my cup run over. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Verse 6. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Hallelujah. Say this with me. Say, Father, let your goodness and your mercy follow me all the days of my life and let me dwell in your house forever. Lead me and guide me in the correct way, the way that I must go so that I can stay in your presence all the days of my life. I ask this in Jesus' name and I thank you that even as I've prayed this prayer, you will do what only you can do. And my day is blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear friend, thank you for watching this video and thank you for praying along. Feel free to share it with your family and your friends so that they too can pray this prayer and be blessed. God bless you and thank you for tuning in. I will be back again soon with another video that will bless you. Until then, Shalom and goodbye. Thank you for watching. If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.